Hello everybody, this is Christian. Welcome back to an empty Fusion 360 workspace. Today I have a look at some geometry from already questions. Let's have a look at the image. It's a bit small, it's a bit dark, it's hard to see. And also, of course, like all images, a bit distorted. It looks like you have squished this thing you're looking at. But if we have a look down here, we can have a feeling that this is supposed to be basically a, a low poly sphere, what some would call it. Uh, but we like to model this in Fusion. Uh, of course, uh, we have a lot of small details. So step one, let's forget about all the small details. Step one is, I have yellow color. I want to find the geometry of, sorry, I'm going to find the geometry of this face here and this face down here. Because, of course, these are the same all the way. We have a mirror symmetry. This exists up here and this exists all the way around. Let's remove this now slightly. Uh, this is like the center of the sphere we have here. If we do some math, we can see one, two, three, four, and we should have five, six, seven, eight. I suspect there are eight sides. This we should have an octagon shape here. And another thing, I saw some other suggestion on doing this, but how I think about this is that we're going to switch some colors to blue. This one here, this needs to be a flat plane. If you look at this, this is flat. You have a flat prism, and we have a flat surface down here or a flat prism part down here and the definition of flat planes we can use fusion for that under construction we can define planes through two edges or three points let's go back to the image if we have a look i'm going to remove some things here if i can find this edge here that's quite easy to find and i can find this edge here that gives me the flat plane here and then, of course, I also can do this edge here. And I can do this edge here. And from that, I can found this flat plane here. And from symmetry, this line here is the same length as this and the same angles and symmetric and so forth. So if I can find this geometry, I can make like the basic shape. Step one, you need to make the basic shape before you make the model as manufacturable. If you know the geometry, you can go directly to making something that you can be used for some type of manufacturing. So this is like breaking down the metal geometry with the black parts of the image. I mean, like the prism, those are simple extrude with uh, paper angles. I think you could do it in a couple of different ways, but let's start with the basic metal geometry. As we said, we're going to start up here and we had an octagon shape. So let's use our polygon tool, circumscribe polygon, tab over eight sides, and of course we need to dimension uh, let's have a look at the image the easier we can see we want to make these edges here that means i want to use one of the built-in place with uh, planes with infusion that means i need to have this point straight down so we do a line do a construction line from here to here and tell fusion i want that to be horizontal vertical in this case vertical so it means i have this point here and that's the same as this point here in the image let's give it to some dimension let's make it make me 300 millimeters something like that uh, now i get a all fires can be quite flashy so i'm going to mark like this and tell fusion construction can even take this line and make it to construct geometry this removes the flashing profile couldn't turn on the profiles because the only thing i'm interested in here is this line here this is the edge we have here Let's switch corners as we work our way around. So we have created this edge here. Let's see if we can create these two edges here. Some useful ways. We're going to finish the sketch. Create a sketch on the plane that is aligned with the construction line we made. So we're going to select this plane. P for project. Just, just simply project out in the end point of this line. We can do a circle. We're going to make it a construction circle. Just help us with visualization. I'm going to do some lines, no longer construction lines. So this is our first edge, and this is our second edge. Not adding any dimension or anything, just having a thinking about this. Go back to the image. I have a feeling, looking at this, that uh, let's add one more color. Let's add green on top of our rest of colors. But this line here, or this edge here, and this edge here should have a feeling of being the same length just what I think. So I'm going to make those two equal. I need one more line, a construction line across here. So this construction line here, 
Well, let's go back. Maybe should be like the connection on here. There's some round thing or some crown. Or maybe like a knot or some lily construction. I think there's a crown up here or something else down here. And then a, a mast that is mounted on. So we can decide the dimension of this line here. So let's say the connection post is 70 millimeters in diameter. We now have all the edges we need. So I'm going to finish sketch. I'm going to create construct. Plane through two edges. Select my two edges. We have a flat plane. Hit OK. Create sketch on our new plane. P for project. Project in the wanted edges we need. Do line command, of course. This immediately can get turned into uh, horizontal. We could use a parallel constraint to this line. I'm just going to drag it out slightly like this and then over here. We have now two ways of fully defining. We could use equal because these two edges have to be equal. Or we can make a line, construction line from midpoint to midpoint until a fusion that needs to be vertical. That also gives you a fully defined sketch. Gonna finish. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Let's go back. If we look at the image, it's like a frame here. So I will do an offset of these sketch curves here. All this and make that. Is this plus or minus? Is so vast? Let's do that. Ten millimeters, maybe too much. We're gonna do it like that. E for extrude, solid extrude. This inwards, two millimeters. Yeah, that basically good. I'm gonna hit OK. So I'm working my way forward. After I made a sketch, I put the feature I want to use. Uh, I'm forgetting to name things. We should really name all the sketches, but this is just a demonstration of the geometry. So let's hide that body. We're going to create a new construction plane on two edges. Select these two edges. Going to hit OK. You can see we're repeating the previous workflow basically. P for project. Project in our two. Oops, sorry, not that one. That line and uh, that line. Gonna add some line of our own, like this up to here. A line from midpoint to midpoint. Highlight the line, turn it into construction, and horizontal vertical. And we have a fully defined sketch. And I forget the offset once again. Sorry. Offset for the fun of it. Let's make uh, show the dimensions here. I'm gonna go back to an offset of these here. Let's see if I can pick up a dimension and the offset dimension is going to be this dimension and it can't pick it up. So we're going to find it later. So let's make it 10 again. Let's make a very correct orientation. Yes. Hit OK. We can go back and rename things. We can drive if we want to do that. Now I'm just making the model. E for extrude. This once again. Did we do it two millimeters? Let's turn on the body and have a look. Now I want to do a cut. Of course, we want to do a join because we're doing all the extrude inwards towards the center of the spheres we're going to get some overlapping edges but as we pattern this along those edges will basically disappear on the inside of the body and this, as i said this is only for making the basic geometry gonna hit ok s on the keyboard and mirror command fine i have it moved up here so i can click here bodies yes this body mirror plane is going to be our region plane here join yes please S on the keyboard, find our pattern. I put pattern here. Switch from rectangular to circular. Bodies, uh, this axis here, and we're gonna have eight sides. Eight. Oh, I've clicked on numlock by mistake. Eight. Oh. So there we are. And select everything. Do a solid combine. And hide all our sketches. So like now we have like a basic model we can do some playing around with. We can do, let's open up our sketches. Did we put that in that one? Uh, show dimensions. Let's say 70 millimeter was not correct. Maybe it's supposed to be 85. Can we update our model? Yes, we can change things like that. Could also change the diameter and so forth. So like this is like how I would bake the basic shape model of this lampshade here. From here now, we can start adding those details down here and stuff around. But I need to first build this. And now we can do decision. Like, okay, we want to make this like a sheet metal part. I can use the geometry here and make offset faces. Add uh, uh, the needed radius for bends and so forth. 
but often the first thing you need to do you need to somehow find the geometry of what you're designing before you go down to the details on how you're going to make every single part so this gives me a visualization of how things will look just check them in perspective so with that said i hope you found some useful video take care see you around and goodbye